everybody in the Brony fandom, it's me, Brony Richter, and yes, I am wearing a long sleeve sweater, and you can see all the posters and artwork and old Michael Jackson record player right there. Oh, even Destiny. So, oh yeah, please don't worry, please don't, motherfucker, don't worry about that, that was an actual autograph of actually Creepy Pasta Jr. at one of the Comic Con over here in my hometown. Anyway, so, hey guys. It's me, Brent Richter. I just want to do one of the kind of amazing shout out and video thing that I am so excited about. Well, not really excited. So we all know that in 2019, My Little Pony is going to end. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it might be sad for everybody else, but... Everyone's all pretty excited for the new generation that they're going to be doing, Generation 5, and this is how, literally, this is they're going to be looking like. But, well, all kinds of freak me out is, they chained three people, Fluttershy is now a unicorn, Pinkie Pie is now a Pegasus, and Twilight is now an Earth Pony. Wow. What the hell? Everything is now changing all of a sudden. That's just crazy, though. That's straight up crazy. But, mostly, that's kind of actually a challenge for us. The reason why I say challenge is because now they're going to be changing a story for all of Fluttershy, Fluttershy Pinkie Pie, and Twilight. Is Twilight going to be a Aurora student at... Uh, Princess Celestia, or the, is it going to be a main story about Fluttershy now? What do you think it's going to be, guys? But he, the reason is, how, it's, they're going to do the exact same thing how they did with Frederick's Magic, Twilight becoming an alicorn. And it's going to it's going to show us how Earth Pony becomes alicorn? Or are they not going to put Princess Celestia or Princess Luna in there? Or Cadence? Or Shining Armor? Or Flutterheart? Who knows? We'll see what happens in the in the latest video, in 2020. We'll see what happened. But mostly, I'm kind of excited because I want to I wanted to see how the whole show turns out, how they're going to be making the, <coughs> the storyline is, and if they're going to be putting the elements of harmony or making something new. I'm excited. I hope they still have all the old characters that they showed, even the Apple Farm. Hopefully, they'll have the Apple Farm. But, the question is, I want to know, is for all the Brody fandom, these guys, are we going to be keeping the old stylus, or are we going to change it to new generation, like the new generation 5? Are we going to make it look like that, or literally are we going to keep our old OC like how we usually have it? Because... Everybody all worked so hard to do the puppet tool thing on their uh, Adobe Flash or After no, yeah, Adobe Flash or Illustrator. Those those are very good vectoring stuff for making some good art, even some Photoshop for your character. Mostly Adobe Flash can be very much better to make your own vector OC. I haven't even finished creating mine because I upgraded all three of them and I'd rather not upgrade them again because I like how how they are. I work so hard. I try my best to not make it look like MLP except for the graphics and the others. I still kept that. I want them to look different but mostly I don't want it to be the exact same replica of the MLP. I wanted to make it different. How Keyframe kind of did it, like how she's tall, and there's one episode that shows a tall pony, and that was uh, Hearts and Hooves Day, I think. Yeah, that was Hearts and Hooves Day, the first episode of Hearts and Hooves Day when Big Mac, Big Mac and Shirley Lee started dating, but it was only a love potion. Yeah, that was a funny episode. And we all know that Golden Fox don't like it. But, most of all, Yes, that's my question. Are we going to keep keeping our OC how it is? 
is there still going to be a Brody fandom? Or are we going to start all over and make our new OC again? Make a new vector. Make the exact same thing of the replica. I am sorry for bringing this up. I hope this doesn't make like an idiot of myself. But yes, that's the question I want to know. Please, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you guys want to. It's all up to you guys because... That literally has been stuck in my head for the past few weeks. And I was going to do a video about it, but I've been working for the past few weeks. And, yeah, so far, been doing good. So, I guess I am kind of scared and kind of am excited because... The reason why I say scared is I really don't want My Little Pony Friendship and Magic to end, but I know it has to because I'm pretty sure we want to get a new different voice actor. They've been working so hard for Season 9 to come out because it's been like for the past, I think, 2011, I think. I don't remember when the first episode started. It doesn't hurt to look to look it up. Oh, my bad. I was one year early. It's 2010 when they started Friendship is Magic. So, Jesus, guys, that episode has been with us for like nine years. That's crazy. Nine bloody years. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, everybody, I guess we all know this was probably going to happen. My Little Pony Friendship with Magic is going to end. We're going to be having a new generation of a new My Little Pony. But we don't know if it's going to be called something different. Like, how they usually call Are they going to just keep My Little Pony and not call it something else? Like, My Little Pony, the something something. Or My Little Pony, the Galera. What do you think it might be, everybody? And the other thing I'm scared about is for all of you guys. The reason... Are you all, like, afraid to lose the OC that you guys all work so hard on? Even for other fandoms, like other bronies, probably in a commission, would you guys miss doing all these artwork? Unless you guys want to do new ones of a new character of your OC, or actually changing it? That's one of my questions I have to ask you guys. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope to see you guys till next time. I love you guys. Take it away.